The main menu is the first thing that players see once they download your game. It's important to make a good first impression. In this tutorial, I'll guide you on how to create the best main menu for your Godot project. Open your Godot project and create a new 2D scene called Main Menu. Add a control node as its child and rename it to Button Manager. Then add three button nodes under the Button Manager. For now, we'll use regular button nodes instead of texture button nodes to test the code before importing our art. Label each button according to its function, such as start, options, and quit. Resize and position them wherever you'd like for the final menu, and label each button in the inspector scene based on their function. Remember, the button text won't matter for our final product. We're just doing this to test if our code works properly. With the basic setup done, let's move on to our code. Create a main menu script and connect our button onto the script using the inspector scene. Changing between scenes is pretty simple. All you need to do is use this line called getTree.changeScene2File. Just type out this code and drag and drop our game scene onto the start button. Copy and paste it onto your option buttons and drag and drop your option scene. For the quit button to work correctly, we'll use this line, get tree.quit. Now we just need to check if our buttons work properly. If they do, we can move on to the next step. Let's talk about the visuals. I prefer texture buttons over text-based button, but if you do want to use text-based buttons, a good website I recommend for finding fonts is googlefonts.com. If you also plan to draw your buttons, you're going to have to draw two button variations, one for when it is selected and one for when it is not. This will be useful for later. For now, import all the art assets into a separate folder for the menu. Once all the art is imported, change all of our button nodes into texture button nodes and import the art. With all the art imported, the game looks more complete. Now as a final detail, let's add a fading animation whenever we change scenes. Create a new scene as a color rec and fill the screen with it. Then set the color rec to black and add an animation player as a child. We are going to create two animations with it, one fade in and one fade out animation. We are going to do this by setting a keyframe for the opacity of the color rec. Save and label it as fade transition and import it onto the main menu and make sure to set it on top of everything else and disable its visibility. Now add a timer nose as the fade transitions child and name it fade timer. Then go back to our code and create a new variable called button type. Delete everything on the start options button and set the variable as button name, like so. This will make it so the game knows what type of button we've pressed for the fade animation. Then make the fade transition visible. Play the fade transition animation. Finally, and start the fade timer. Make sure to play the fade in animation instead of the fade out. Copy and paste our finished code onto the options function and just change the button type to options. Now connect the fade timer to the menu script. After connecting, write this piece of code which will check the button type and load the appropriate scene after the fade animation is played. Now to complete the fade out animation, go to the scene you want to load and add the fade transition. Again, make sure it's over all of your other nodes and just add the simple line of funk ready. Fade transition slash animation player dot play fade out. And there you have it. With just a few simple steps, we have a functional main menu. Feel free to experiment with different designs to suit your game style and needs. Before this video ends, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support on my YouTube channel. As of this recording, we're at 84 subscribers, and I just wanted to say thanks a lot to everyone who's already subscribed. You guys are amazing, and I really appreciate your continuous support. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting content coming up in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, here are some other videos you may like.